Hello everyone and welcome to another very beautiful and a very famous chess game of Bobby Fischer. And this is the game of the century by Bobby Fischer, a very beautiful chess game. And in this chess game Bobby Fischer is playing with the black pieces and his opponent is Donald Byrne. And this game was played in New York in 1956 in the third Rosenwald Trophy. So Donald Byrne, who has the white pieces, starts the game with playing knight to f3, Fisher played knight to f6, c4, g6, knight to c3, bishop to g7, d4, and Bobby Fisher castled bishop to f4, d5 by Bobby Fisher. And Fisher is playing the Greenfield defense. We have queen to b3, d takes on c4, queen takes on c4, c6, e4, knight from b to d7, rook to d1, knight to b6, attacking the queen, queen to c5, bishop to g4, bishop to g5, knight to a4, by Bobby Fischer. And it looks like Bobby Fischer is sacrificing the knight. But he has a compensation if knight takes knight. So that's why Donald Byrne didn't capture the knight and he played queen to a3. Well, if white accepts the sacrifice if knight takes on a4, then knight takes on e4, attacking the queen and the bishop. If queen to b4, a5, queen takes on b7, knight takes on g5. And if knight takes knight, bishop takes on d1. So Donald Byrne didn't capture the knight and he played queen to a3. Fisher played knight takes knight, b takes on c3, knight takes on e4, bishop takes on e7, forking the queen and the rook. But Fisher played queen to b6, the best move. And Donald Byrne didn't capture the rook, and he played bishop to c4. Well, if bishop takes rook, then bishop takes bishop attacking the queen, queen to b3, queen takes queen, pawn takes queen, rook to e8, and black has the edge in this position, and white can easily blunder, make a mistake. So the king is in the center, the king's safety is compromised. And white can easily lose the game after this position, and black is winning. So that's why Donald Byrne didn't capture the rook and he played bishop to c4. Fisher played knight takes on c3. Another sacrifice attempt by Fisher, but again Donald Byrne didn't accept the sacrifice and he played bishop to c5, attacking the queen. And if queen takes knight, then rook from a to e8, bishop is pinned. So if defending with the queen, bishop takes on f3, g takes on f3, and then bishop to f6. And once again, black has the edge, and this is losing for white. So we have bishop to c5. Before capturing the knight, Donald Byrne is attacking the queen. Well, Bobby Fischer is not defending the queen and he played rook from f to e8, king to f1. And here comes the amazing move by Bobby Fischer. Well, Bobby Fischer played his legendary move and he played bishop to e6, sacrificing the queen at move 17. What a move by Bobby Fischer. And in this position, Donald Byrne must thought that the little kid must have blundered, so he thought that Fisher forgot about his queen, and then Donald Byrne, of course, happily captures the queen, bishop takes on b6, and 13 years old Bobby Fisher captures the bishop, that's check. And where is the king going? We have king to g1, and then knight to e2, king to f1, knight takes on d4, king to g1. Knight to e2, king to f1. Knight to c3 by Bobby Fischer, that's check. Also attacking the rook. 
so king to g1, and before capturing the rook, Fischer captures the bishop and attacking the queen, but queen to b4 attacking the bishop, rook to a4 by Fischer, attacking the queen and also defending the bishop, queen takes on b6 and Fischer captures the rook, knight takes on d1, h3, rook takes on a2, king to h2, knight takes on f2, and Fischer has two extra pawns, and by the way, for a sacrificed queen, Fischer has a rook plus two extra bishops, and Donald Byrne played rook to e1, rook takes rook, queen to d8, bishop to f8, and then knight takes on e1, bishop to d5, knight to f3, knight to e4, queen to b8, b5, defending the pawn, and marching the pawn. Fischer has two dangerously connected passed pawns. h4, h5, knight to e5, and Fischer played a very important move. He played king to g7, and Fischer is preparing to play bishop to d6, and that's a killer move. So running away, king to g1, and then Bobby Fischer has forced checkmate in this position, and he played bishop to c5, king to f1, and most definitely a very strong player like Donald Byrne probably knew that this is forced checkmate, but interestingly he didn't resign, and maybe, according to the legend also, he wanted to see this very beautiful checkmate, so that's why probably, most definitely, he didn't resign. And Fischer played knight to g3, king to e1, and here comes bishop to b4, king to d1, bishop to b3, king to c1, knight to e2, king to b1, knight to c3, king to c1. And Bobby Fischer played rook to c2, checkmate, and look at the final position. This is art, a piece of art. That's why this is the game of the century. How Bobby Fischer sacrificed his queen and then managed to checkmate his opponent very artistically. What a beautiful chess game by 13 years old Bobby Fischer. Not just one of the greatest chess games of Bobby Fischer, but probably, if not the best, one of the best and the most beautiful checkmates in the history of chess. So I hope you have enjoyed watching this video and I hope to see you next time. Take care.